So this is one inch tubular webbing, 20 foot in length. And this right here is the probably the best way to store your webbing and your turnout gear or bailout kit or whatever you have. So basically you find the center point. So Jay has got the center point in his hand and that's gonna be at the 10 foot mark on a 20 foot piece of webbing. So he'll have his loop or his bite or whatever you want to call it. And basically what he's doing is pull it. He made a girth hitch over the webbing on the free end. And he's going in from the same side every time. And he's focused on the loop on his left hand. And he's feeding through on the right side every time. And the bottom side is actually twisting as he's feeding this through. It looks like a mess right now, but when you get it finalized and stretch it out, it'll be nice and neat. But this, again, this is called a daisy chain. Real easy. You won't have to worry about getting anything untangled. And it's, uh, it allows for rapid deployment when you need it. And he got to the end, and all he did was take the free end and tuck it under the last loop. So basically it's tight. Now he will stretch it, stretch it apart to kind of tighten it, kind of dress it up. And that's what the daisy chain looks like. And when you get ready to deploy it, all he's gonna do is take the last two little free ends, pull it out, and you can either pull this out, sling it out. And when it gets, when it gets like that, all you gotta do is kind of shake it and it'll come. And you see how fast that is. But again, that is called a daisy chain. You'll see a lot of electricians use it on uh, extension cores, that kind of stuff. That's it.